something called um, carpal tunnel syndrome. It happens a lot because people are on, on a computer all day, their hands are either flexed back, some people that work jackhammers, they get the constant pounding. Maybe some people like write, they, they press down very tightly on a, a pen and it will cause the constriction. What it is is you have this seat coming across the hand and it constricts and it puts pressure on the nerves. So you're going to have to, originally what happens is you start going numb in some of the fingers and it always varies a little, but typically these first three fingers. And then from there you can have pain which will keep you up at night and then you have dysfunction also. So you want to release that. Now um, I found this, now I am a, um, a carpal tunnel sufferer and I had surgery a long time ago, but I found this recipe unfortunately after I had my surgery. We've been able to um, save people a lot of aggravation and going uh, for the surgery with this recipe. So it's, it's quite nice and uh, quite personal to me. All right, there's a band coming across that's pressing on the nerves as I mentioned. So we want to release that band first to make sure that the neurological messaging is getting into the hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to a point on the inside of the thumb. Okay, this is point number, uh, this is lung number uh, 10. And when press on that, hold that, and then quickly release, as you've seen in many of the other recipes. We're going to do this three times. And that starts relaxing the palm of the hand. Now, as you do that, you want to give the hand enough time for that, that to relax. So when you press it, don't just keep pressing it fast. You want to give it time to relax. Once I've done this point here, the lung number 10, I'm going to come across at a diagonal. Okay, this is heart point number 8. And I'm going to press in on that. And again, I'm going to quickly release. I'm going to do this three times as well, allowing enough time for the relaxation in between. From there, I'm going to come up to the top point right in through here and just press and release. And then I'm coming down to the base of the, the palm, pressing in and quickly releasing as well. Now once I've released, I'm going to let that relax a little bit. Once I've relaxed that, what I want to do is I want to start stimulating the nerve again to make sure that the nerve impulse is flowing into the hand. So what I'm going to do is just take some fingers and just lightly tap on the inside of the forearm from the, the elbow right down to the wrist. And when you do this, and you can do this to yourself, okay, you'll feel the nerve impulse going right into the fingers. So that's a quick way to get um, relief from the carpal tunnel syndrome and also to keep it from coming back again. It's also, carpal tunnel has a tendency to be bilateral because sometimes the tasks we're doing, we're doing with both hands. So if you get, you've gotten the carpal tunnel in one hand, make sure you work with both hands just to make sure that the other one doesn't have the um, issue come up. So that's carpal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> Thank you.